Uh, so they're fixing to get started here onto the homestead of digging this well here and putting on a side pump, a hand pump. And we're going to take you along on this journey. And I believe at the very end of this video, you'll be amazed at what it takes to drill a well. And also, don't forget, this is not just a drilling a, a, a well and putting a, a tank on a pump, electrical pump on there. Am I saying that correctly? Yes. And then where he's putting also a hand pump. So off grid, on grid, no power, it's on. Yep, we're going to have a submersible pump. One horsepower, 25 gallon per minute, Franklin Electric pump. And we're going to also rig up a Simmons pitcher pump on top where she will have the option to isolate if the power is off and be able to hopefully pull water with the hand pump. And granted, hand pumps will only work with the water level shallower than 25 feet. So it all depends on where you are, what your water level is in the ground. It has to do with a hand pump, um, just like a shallow well jet pump so three main pumps on the market you can look into that information depending on what you're trying to do with their volume output and where you it is that you're constructing your well and water levels there's a whole lot of information when it comes to that and that's why talking to a professional a Absolutely. pump installer and well installer they're going to guide you in the direction you need and the key word here is professional so guys we're on day three the guys are rolling in at this moment i can hear them we had, did have some mechanical problems and some geological problems. He lost his drill bit, drill bits, three of them, and the barons all down into the well. So he had to fish those out. And he was successfully with uh, so many hours. I mean, he worked at it, took a fishing line and some magnets and was able and to flush it out and was to flush out that, the, where the well is gonna be at, flush it out and able to get um, those drill bits out. So that was a success, and they worked till late last night. And uh, so hopefully today we'll have the rest of the well finished. The pump will be on there, the electrical side pump, the hand pump will be on there, and this day will be a total success. This, uh, putting in this well will be a total success. It will be a deep well with a hand pump. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. How the video comes out after it's edited, uh, I believe that you will be totally amazed at what it takes to put down a well, to go through the, uh, the ordeal to get water, long-term water, for your homestead. Uh, just like I said, showing you from where they left off at last night, taking the dirt and put it in that casing to give it stability. When they left last night, the purpose of that was to let that all that rock and mud and everything get down in there and to uh, make it more stable to settle. Here you 
you've got the two different formations. This gray, more silvery rock is the limestone, commonly known as the Castle Hane Aquifer. This gray sandstone here is deeper, it's the PD Aquifer, that's the better quality, and that's what we're going for today. So we found what we want, and we get our depth and extreme what we want. They keep doing the same process until they get to the depth that they want and they go from layer to rock and down. Okay, so we're back over here. We are now drilling out our four inch casing that we grouted last night. This is the sandstone formation, which is the PD aquifer. This is what we're looking for and deciding to take on um, building this well here. And the limestone, like I said, we blocked off, which we could have made a well in that. There's just higher iron content and it's kind of shallow to the surface here. So the deeper we can get the casing, the more room for the submersible pump, water level fluctuation, things like that. And it's still relatively what we consider shallow for our area over here. But this is the sandstone formation and we are going to finish drilling that out. And then we will set our screens out of the bottom of the well and work on developing the well, which will be the final part of the build. Turn it around so they can see the sunlight. There you go. Yeah, that's the sandstone. It's actually pretty hard here. Sometimes it's only sand. So it, it varies. But it's actually pretty consolidated here. So a piece of equipment just cut off and so we're going to take a break for just a second and come back to this so they can figure out what is going on with this piece of equipment. Run out of gas. Oh, I thought I, I didn't know if it was right off the diesel. Yeah, it is diesel. Yeah, I didn't realize how dang long it's been running. Usually, we'll get even a deep, you know, well, and without run, you know, a full three, about full three days of run time. But you had to go fishing. You had to fish for your. Real bit, real, yeah. real pieces. So it ran for a while. All right. Well, that was a good, that was a good call, and that was, uh, that was a good thing. It was worth it. Yeah. All right. This is ninety.
feet now. And it's not going down. And it's back up where it goes on the water chuck. It's not. So I'm not getting this mud. We ran out of, or he ran out of diesel um, that needed to operate this drill here. So they went and got filled up, and then right. we'll be on our way. Oh, 
I remember my first time driving a truck. It takes experience. They need a raise.
develop it right now just to see how much volume it's making with the amount of footage that we've already drilled and I may be able to get an open-ended well here because I like I said the rock was a lot more consolidated than normal over here it wasn't very sandy sandstone it was more consolidated rock so we may be able to not have to put screens at, in the bottom of this well so we're gonna test it now and see Watch, he doesn't, that doesn't blow right there at you and get you all wet. Yeah. You know I mean? All right, let me back it up. I told him to go easy. Let's see. Pretty sick. 
Water, you know, we're pumping air in doing an airlift procedure, uh, and as you can see, it's making water, but it, it is going to have too much sand in it to get it open ended. So, I just wanted to test that real quick. Now, I'll go ahead back to drilling a little more footage, conditioning the hole, and we will have to pull out and then set these number 10 screens out of the bottom of the four inch. Let them naturally grab a back, lock in. 